tell us one thing you admire about Uncle Andrew and how has it impacted your life? Hey, Uncle Andrew. Um, yeah, this is Clement. You know, I just want to um, just send some shout out to you even on this Father's Day. I just want to let you know that you are a real, you know, role model inside of my life. Or uh, if I were to identify like one trait in you that I, 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 I see that I like, that really just stand out and it is just your love for God. You know, you are someone that's very passionate about Jesus and what you believe in. And you know, that has made an impact on my life, you know, as a young man. And how, how, how has your passion for Christ, you know, uh, made an impact on my life is that it caused me to want to be holy. It caused me to want to ensure that I live a life pleasing to God. And I must say, your marriage is also an encouragement, the way how you and Auntie Danny just love each other. Hey, uncle. One thing that I really admire about you is your wisdom, right? And how you allow God to really just use it, right? To just disciple and teach other people. Trust me, I really appreciate in all the times that you've taught me. I still remember the Thursdays we used to meet up in the office, in the guidance council office and just talk. And trust me, right, all that you've taught me has helped me to be the person I am right now. So just thank you. Shout out to um, Minister Norman for his um, amazing display of the life of Christ. Um, I've learned how to really so sort of rooted myself in God, root myself in God through his life, his passion, his um, enthusiasm for God and for the word of God and to see persons get saved has been one of the things about him that truly um, pulls me to him. And I've learned that being around him Jewish, trust me as a child of God, you can't live a mediocre Christianity. You have to live it up, passion and pure, with purity. You have to be all out for God. He has shown me that. One thing I admire about Uncle Andrew is that he's not afraid to stand up for what is right. You know, if something is done wrong, he will say something not forcefully. You know, with a certain kind of grace just to ensure that the matter is dealt with in a healthy way, you know, for everyone moving forward. Um, and that's something that I rec recognize is very important, you know, uh, especially in terms of leadership, you know, not just allowing things um, to happen, but standing upon the godly principles, you know, that I've learned, you know, um, there'll be situations that I'll face, you know, where right is right and wrong is wrong, you know, and it's necessary to say something, you know, to speak up, to address it, not just to let it slide. And I've been seeing um, just different situations come up in my life, you know, and I'm, I'm thankful that I can look to Uncle Andrew as an example of how to deal with these kind of situations with that kind of grace but with that kind of sternness you know just a conviction to know um, what am I standing upon and so I really appreciate that and I'm thankful for you Uncle Andrew. Um, his ability to encourage you and provide you with sound godly advice um, it doesn't matter who you are where you are what you are doing once Uncle Andrew begins to talk with you, he's not going to end the conversation without giving you sound, moral, godly advice. And, and I thank you for that, sir, because it has played a world of a difference in my own personal life. I've also started to use the same principle in my life and ministry where I provide advice to those who I converse with. Because I recognize that in this day and age that we live, People don't just only want advice, but they want sound, godly advice as to the directions that they need to take in their life as well. And so today, sir, I know I'm, I'm not the only person that has been impacted by your advice, but I just want to say thank you today, sir. The thing I admire about Uncle Norman is his passion towards God and towards things of the Lord. It's really and truly second to no other. And that really has impacted me, you know, with regards to meetings, with regards to doing, you know, my best for the Lord and ensuring that we do our best, you know, for God and really seeking God first. Um, what One thing I admire, with, with the first thing that comes to mind is, again, that passion. You know, he's really and truly a man that's after God's own heart. 
What do I admire about Uncle Anjo? Him simple and humble. Like a child, a childlike behavior, man, and him ever smiling you know, when he talk to people, you know. Him just have this approach where when he deal with people, when he have a conversation with people, you know, things I know the people them long, long, long time. Uncle Andrew just have conversation, just interact with people. You can sense that love inside of him for people. And sometimes I ask him, him we introduce you to somebody, I say, oh, this is Chris, man, Chris, man. He just come here, you know. He had a plumber, you know, for example, sake. he just come here, he just come here to the plumber about five minutes ago. And you wonder if he know the person long time the way them that talk before. That's Uncle Andrew. And I myself, I can say that I admire that personality so much that it becomes even a part of me every time or most times I'm having a conversation with somebody. He is the one that comes to my mind at times when I'm doing that. And sometimes, it does, I mean, I just see myself sometimes when Uncle Andrew talking, when I'm talking to people, getting to know people. You know, Uncle Andrew was my guidance counselor while I was going to Ulmer's Boys. And I remember during the college application period, you know, I had to be in his office quite often. And I remember going there each time, you know, he would always have a story from the Bible or a story from his own personal life that he would just use as words of encouragement and um, I would say these stories definitely um, had a big impact on me as they allowed me to really invite God further into you know my situation which as it, at the time was applying to colleges you know I'll forever be grateful for Uncle Andrew's guidance and um, you know his encouragement and and uh, inspiration to just uh, invite God in everything that you're doing. What I really admire about you, Mr. Norman, is that you epitomize Jesus' words in the book of St. Matthew where he says, I am meek and lowly of heart. When I hear that scripture, I always think of you. And uh, that has impacted me by way of example because I see meekness in your life and at the same time there's so much power that is behind your life in your marriage in your ministry in just the way you deal with people and it's a great example to me and it has impacted my life this is your son steven hey uncle <laughs> what's up what's up what's up so one thing i admire about you greatly is your leadership skills you know the way how you just deal with people there is a cautiousness you know there is humility you know and there is just this sweet spirit in your dealings you know and that has really inspired me and as any great leader how has it really impacted me in my life like as any great leader, you know, you know, the, the follower would want to become like that great leader, you know, and you taught us, you're the one who, who, who taught me that in order to be a good leader, you first have to be a good follower. Yes, you really drilled that home. You are not done it, but this is your moment. <laughs> yeah, big up uncle. Yeah, really, really big up. Okay, so um, one thing that I admire about Uncle is the way that he treats Auntie Donnit. His relationship with Auntie Donnit is one to look up to. Every time I'm engaging my wife in something, you know, I always remember the way how Uncle Andrew would speak to Auntie Donnit and you know just how he cares for her and it has helped me to be a better husband to my wife. For me Uncle Angie is a very calm and humble person um, I really admire that and you know in my own life I really aspire to be try I swear try to be you know calm and humble as he is. Um, a next thing I also admire about Uncle Andrew is that 
he's always by Auntie Danit's side. They're always with each other, you know. Um, he's a very wise person, always there to, you know, impart wisdom. And anytime I call Uncle Andrew, he's there to answer, you know. Yeah. And those are just a few things I admire about Uncle Andrew. What is one unique phrase you'll use to describe Uncle? Um, a phrase to describe you, I'd definitely say passionate for Christ. That's my phrase. You're passionate for Christ. You know? Uncle Andrew, the righteous mega man, because God placed all the wisdom in his mind for righteousness. <laughs> um, effervescent is vivacious and enthusiastic about what he does for the Lord and he gives off fuzzy bubbles <laughs> that you cannot help but catch and become a part of what he is driven to do and, and the mandate that the Lord has given to him. One unique phrase I would use to describe uncle righteously real. What that means to me you represent what it means to be a real man. So continue being real for the Lord. Spiritual strange teacher, unique phrase. <laughs> Here's the phrase that uniquely identifies you, Mr. Norman. Gentle giant. That is to say, is not apparent of the magnitude of power that is behind your life and is seen as soon as you interact with somebody is very gentle but at the same time it's extremely powerful so do you have any words of encouragement for uncle andrew my encouragement for you today mr norman is to keep walking with the lord and don't become weary in anything that you are doing your life has impacted many and it has impacted me personally and I see a great example of a husband, a father and a man of God in your life. Keep doing what you are doing. Continue to be a role model. I encourage you to be a role model in your marriage, during your marriage, at school, wherever you go, how you interact with people. Continue to be a role model. Non-stop. Don't stop. On this Father's Day as well, Uncle, I just want to encourage you to stay in God. Just keep your heart set on God and just do whatever He asks of you. I want to encourage you to encourage him to continue to be that person that um, I mean really and truly all I see is Christ and the life of Christ humble truly humble and I really admire these characteristics continue to give us your sound quality advice even when we don't ask for it Continue to be the individual that you are, led by the Spirit to do the work of the Lord and the mission of God. I honestly believe that you should continue being who you are, being a man of God, being really and truly after God's own heart, continuing to, continuing to make disciples, making young women and young men who are unashamed of the gospel, unashamed of their faith, and unashamed of their purity. Truly, his reward in heaven will be great. So, Uncle, I just want to encourage you to just continue being a real man continue being a real man well i'm just <laughs> i'm just happy for this moment right now because you're the one who drove home that real man concept to me you know continue being responsible you know very responsible continue being empowered by god you know fueled by god does that engine mm, everything yeah continue being ambitious and authentic and continue being a leader you know you know you're a very good leader and you know we all can attest to that and enjoy the day enjoy the day to the fullest all the best uncle all the best you know uncle i just really want to encourage you just continue doing what you're doing because obviously it's working right the guys are here and we really appreciate you so just continue to let god use you 
Uncle, continue being the humble man of God you are and continue to stay by Auntie Donnett's side. Happy Father's Day, Uncle Andrew. Father's Day, Uncle. Hannah to where Hannah is due, and for you to hoot hoot a general salute. Keep being a soldier for the Lord, Uncle. Bless up. Happy Father's Day, Uncle. A father to many. Big up yourself. Happy Father's Day, Uncle Andrew. Hope you enjoy this day. I want to say Happy Father's Day to you for being an amazing mentor and a true man of God. May the Lord richly bless you, sir, and may his grace continue to be upon your life as he inspires you to inspire us. God bless you. Thank you. So I just want to use this opportunity to wish you a happy Father's Day. You are a father figure in my life and I hope that you live to see many, many more Father's Day. Bless up, Uncle. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you, Uncle. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Uncle Andrew. Happy Father's Day, Uncle Andrew. Um, you are one of the best fathers, you know. Uh, you don't have any children for yourself, but you have all of us as your children who you help to grow and, you know, just be there for us, you know. And I'm grateful that God has pleased you in my life. Fu Xing Xue Kai Le. Hello, this is Fu Xing Xue Kai Le. Happy Father's Day, Mr. Norman. That was Happy Father's Day in Chinese. Have a good one. He's extremely passionate for God, passionate towards passion, passionate towards purity. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs>